Hi, my name is Matthijs de Schuren and today I'm going to show you a Kerber roasting attack. On the right we have a domain controller in the whitehats.local domain and on the left we have an attacker machine. The user Blake has been hacked by our attacker and the credentials of this user are stored in a text file. As you can see we have the username and password of the user. Um, this is required for the curb roasting attack that we just have a user account. And as you can see by typing net user Blake, we can see this user is a standard user, which is just part of the domain users group and does not have any global admin account rights. We also installed a SQL server, which is running uh, uh, SQL Server 2014. And um, those services are running with a service account called AutoRunner. If we are going to look at this account in Active Directory, underneath service accounts, and opening the properties of this account, we can then see the service principal name. And that is what the attacker is looking for while performing this attack. We can only see this by enabling view advanced features and then going back to the account and clicking properties. Then in the attribute editor, we can go to the service principal name values and we can see what's in there. So we can see the service principal name in here. If we click add it, we can see a couple. Uh, you can see two computer names, but that is because the computer was renamed so therefore there are two computer names. So if we look at this user, so at the service account, we can see this is actually a domain administrator. So it's a valuable target. So let's see how a curb roasting attack works. The attacker will use a tool called get users SPN. And what we will add to that is the domain whitehats.local and the earlier hacked account from Blake with the password and with this we can request the domain to give a list of all users with a SPN associated to their account and as you can see exactly the values that I just showed in Active Directory are listed here so what we will do next is we will run the same command but with the option request what this is going to do is it's actually requesting the ticket from the service account and dumping it in the terminal. This can take a while. And as you can see, we now have a strange looking string, but this is just a hashed ticket that we were able to get from the domain controller. And what we're going to do is we're going to write that into a file so we can use it in a tool called Hashcat to crack it. So with Hashcat, let's search for Kerberos to see if we can find what options we need. And as you can see, we have a couple of types. And if we look back at our hash that we just captured, we can see we need the TGS and 23 is the E type. And we will need the second one, as this is not a AS pre-authentication request. So using hashcat minus M with the code and the hash. And after that, specifying a word list, we can try to crack the password. And as you can see on the screen, it was pretty quick to crack the password as it was a very, very simple password indeed. But now by cracking this, we can actually authenticate to the domain. And as this user is a domain administrator, 
we can get system rights. So we're going to use a tool called psexact.py and this tool is going to upload a executable, a malicious executable and with that it's going to execute that on the domain controller and give us system rights. So we specify the whitehats.local domain with the user account we just cracked the password for. So auto runner and the password. And then we press enter. And as you can see, it will do its job now. And we're inside the server. So now we can do a dir commando to see all the directories and files on the file system. But let's just uh, quit that and show you that we're actually on the server. Just repeat my command. And now we type hostname to see that we are actually on the host. So it's, as you can see, DC. Zero 01 and who am I? I am system, so the highest privileges in the Windows landscape. And this is how a curb roasting attack looks. Thank you for watching.